Cadaverine is extremely hard to wash off the skin and clothing. Even after many days and washes, the smell of cadaverine will stain what it comes into contact with. This project should only be carried out in a well-ventilated area or outside. Cadaverine is the foul-smelling compound that occurs when an animal tissue goes through the process of putrefaction. Cadaverine is a toxic, thick, yellow oil that is produced during the decarboxylation of the amino acid lysine. Cadaverine is said to have the smell of strong semen, however some say it is closer to wet dog. In nature, it has some extremely cool uses, such as helping plants during growth, and it is even one of the smells of the famous corpse flower, which got its nickname from smelling like a corpse when it blooms. Zebrafish even have a receptor that when cadaverine activates it, it tells the zebrafish it's impossible danger. In humans, our body takes in lysine in small amounts from the food we eat, then our body naturally converts it to cadaverine. Luckily, the making of cadaverine is extremely simple to do, it just smells so bad. We will need sodium carbonate, ethanol, and lysine hydrochloride. We will start by adding 1 gram of lysine hydrochloride to an Erlmeyer flask, followed by adding 0.5 grams of sodium carbonate. We will remove the flask from the clamp to hand mix it. It is important that these powders are fully mixed. During the reaction, the lysine hydrochloride will liberate the hydrochloric acid and the sodium carbonate is there to neutralize it into the salt, carbon dioxide, and water. Once mixed together very well, we will heat the mixture with a small flame. As a side note, it is very easy to burn cadaverine, so a smaller flame spread evenly around is probably the best idea. While lysine is being heated, we are really going through the process of decarboxylation which will kick the CO2 from the lysine and the cadaverine will form. Lysine is an amino acid that contains an amine group and a carboxylic acid group which gives it the name amino acid. Once the carboxylic acid group has been removed, we are left with a simple diamine, which is cadaverine. We know the cadaverine has started to form because of the, the powder will change from white to an oily yellow color. During this time, it'll seem like the powder is almost breathing as we can see the CO2 being liberated from the lysine to form cadaverine. Once almost all of the powder has been reacted, we will let it cool down to 150 degrees before adding 10 milliliters of anhydrous ethanol. From here, we will drop a stir bar in and let it mix for 20 minutes, followed by letting it sit for 15 minutes. The cadaverine is far more soluble in ethanol than the powder that is left. We could have also used water in this step if we wanted just to dissolve everything. Once all of the particles have sunk to the bottom, we are able to pull the top cadaverine and ethanol into a syringe, followed by running it through a syringe filter to further remove any of the powder that got brought with it. Take care not to press too hard on the syringe filter as they can be ruptured. From here, we slowly evaporate our ethanol off at around 150 degrees for 4 to 5 hours. Once done, we are left with an oily yellow cadaverine. Which comes to my Halloween giveaway. I'm going to be buying some vial necklaces and then filling them with cadaverine and sealing them with epoxy resin. I think that it will be a neat way to celebrate Halloween and give back to all the awesome people that have helped along the way. I recently just received my first Patreon subscriber, which I am overly grateful for. With that being said, I will have 10 necklaces to give away, and one of them is going to be for my only Patreon subscriber. If anyone else wants a chance to enter, all you have to do is check out the link below in the description. You don't even have to subscribe to my channel. I'll be announcing the winner in a small video on October 31st. 
However, in the future, I will be giving away other cool things that I make on this channel, and they will most likely be given away to my Patreon subscribers, which you can check out in the link below as well. Special thanks to my one Patreon sub, Ruben Ruiz, and you can see all of the additional videos that I've planned for the future. Until next time, have a great rest of your day.